think it's the same way. And we're back yeah, uh, yeah. here on the couch in the morning, Brew. We're back to work today. We're live downtown, and uh, uh, I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day yeah. weekend. I'm Larry Aarons with Amber Hendren, and uh, we've invited Keith uh, Jardine to come back uh, with us, Caveman Coffee. But we're going to focus a little bit on um, Keith's uh, fiance, Jody Esquivel. Now, what's the name of your yoga studio? Hot Yoga Infusion. Woo! All right. <laughs> yes. I'm working up a sweat just hearing about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, what's, yeah. how, do, how does the peaceful art of yoga go with the word hot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it, it forces you to go inside to find that peace because it's so Ooh. hot outside. Okay. Um, you know, it's just the... Uh, what's great about the studio is we offer hot yoga classes as well as fitness classes. So TRX, sandbag, rib training. And a lot of it is self-paced, self-body weight. We're not throwing throwing around a bunch of weights or anything like that. It's all just your own kind of inner inner strength that you're finding there. So um, it was really cool. I stumbled upon yoga training for an MMA fight, and, and a lot of the guys were saying, oh, like, your hips are so tight. Just go to yoga class and, and open your hips up. And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. So then I started going to yoga. And um, at the time, I was working as a full-time paid firefighter for about seven years. So being able to take myself out of, of a high-paced world as far as training and firefighting and receiving all the benefits of yoga was just, um, it was life-changing. Really? So, nice. Yeah, it was just, um, it uh, completely changed my life. Absolutely. Enough to make you want to actually open a studio and make this your, your life's passion? Enough to make me um, take a step back from my full paid uh, job at the fire department as a paramedic and, and um, kind of try to nurture this um, home as a community at, with hot yoga infusion. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. She still works as a paramedic with a uh, SWAT team, though. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can't give it completely yeah. up. So, yeah, I'm still in the streets a little bit. So. Great. Wow, good yeah. for you. Now, do you lead a lot of the classes yourself? I do. I teach um, a bunch of classes. Yeah, and we have um, probably about six or seven different teachers there that all have gone to different places around the world to learn yoga. So mm -hmm. the cool thing about our studio is we offer so many different classes and every class that you go to is never ever gonna be the same class. So you won't go and be like, oh, it's the same thing we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's every single class is different. Every teacher went to a different training. And, and people will gravitate to what teacher they feel, oh, that teacher's way too hard or this one is a little slower. And, and we can guide people in that direction and, and they'll find their way. It's, it's just, it's really awesome to yeah. see. So uh, your um, studio is Hot Yoga and Fusion. Mm -hmm. What are you fusing with the Hot Yoga? Well, that, that's what I'm very proud of. It, it, she, she teaches the yoga classes and, and, and we're all very present there. I teach a lot of the fitness classes and I'll organize the, the fitness program. So cool. that's the infusion is um, or, uh, infusing the Hot Yoga and, and, and that. But and regular fitness. We program. have fitness anywhere from, from low level to real high intensity um, interval training. And that there's no other yoga studio in the country where you can do this, where you can go do super high intensity, short circuit kind of work. Um, I'll have people in class, I'll have like, um, say a first timer that hasn't worked out in years next to a professional athlete, and it's so scalable mm. like that. And yoga is the same way. You'll see a lot of our, our fighters from Jackson's coming to yoga class, and, mm. and they're mm. at That's the good for motivation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, Jody. so tell us the difference between just a regular yoga and a hot yoga. So regular yoga is is just without the heat. Mm -hmm. So um, what's cool about our studio is we have the infrared heaters. So they're recessed into the ceiling. You don't come in and it's not very uh, daunting. Like it's not, right. you're not taken back. If you didn't know the heaters were up there, you wouldn't know besides right. that it's really mm -hmm. hot. Um, there's a couple cool parts in the room. Um, adding the heat is just adding that um, extra stretch to your muscles. So oh. you kind of feel oh, a see. little bit warmer. You know when you're like, mm -hmm. oh, don't pull a muscle, you're cold. Yeah. And it, it try to act as opening up and being able to lengthen a little bit longer, a little bit deeper stretch. Um, also, this, the uh, temperature makes you um, sweat. Mm -hmm. And so that um, detoxifies everything and trying to cleanse you out. A lot of people don't sweat. You go through your day and, and you're like, uh, even just, um, you know, in society, we're, we're like, oh, I'm sweating. You know, let's just <laughs> figure it out, you know. And, and so you can go to class and kind of just detoxify it's everything and just, oh, let yeah. it out. Get, it's just uh, those toxins. That's sure. what, open your pores and let it, let it go out. So for, for me, the heat makes, 
everything internal. I'm not very good at yoga, uh -huh. um, but but um, the heat actually makes every makes it easy to internalize everything. Makes you more less aware of what's around everything around you, and, and gets you more inside, which is. Like probably the most important part of right. yoga is just it's a yeah. lot of self-talk too so when it's hot yeah. you start to hear it like oh man it's hot <laughs> just turn off the heaters it's summer like what are they doing and and so then you start to hear yourself and a lot of people don't hear themselves talking and that's what's important like listen to what's going on inside and be like okay yeah it is hot but i'm okay take a deep breath yeah. oh okay like there i am i'm self-talking and, and a lot of people it's hard to find that when you would just be in a, in a regular room with all kinds of distract, okay, now I'm doing my shopping list, and now oh, I gotta pick up the kids, <laughs> but I didn't go to work. What time yeah. is it? Wow, what that happens you know? to you too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Don't and, be afraid, it's not that hot, okay. though. Okay, <laughs> no, no, it's yeah. A, yeah. So um, it helps you, I, I agree with him that the heat brings you inside a little bit. Just where are you located, uh, Jeff? Montgomery and Tramway. Nice. So we are next to the subway. Um, oh yeah, I know right where you are, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a wow, beautiful cool. location, too. It is. Yeah. such a pretty part of town. Yeah, it is. It's great to have you both, and thanks for the caveman yeah, coffee. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. The euphoria is starting to kick you. in. Yeah. I'm starting to feel a little more effervescent, yeah, it's, a little more awake. It's very, very good. So check out uh, the caveman coffee. Check out the hot fusion yoga. Yeah. We got you covered here on The Morning Brew. Thank you, We'll guys. come back with more after this quick timeout.